Looks like I have a new letter. I would like to reorganize the crew. For now, I must take my leave. So long. What have you got for me today? You have a keen eye for quality. There, Eva. Now you can take on anything. Is that what you want? This will serve you well. Pretty good. Oh, 
All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. I can get you that one easy. Is that what you want? Worthy of the gods. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. You have a keen eye for quality. Ah, let me look at you. Wonderful. May I see your stores? I do good work, I must say. I must be on my... Fight well, Eivor.
I would like to see what you have in stock. You should buy that. You should buy that. It will see many battles. This looks practically made for you. Done shopping for the day? I'll see you late. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Hmm. What have you brought for me? Wonderful. And here is something for you. I could use more artifacts like this. I have to go. See you soon. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor.
The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalfheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. Even Thunder's fury won't weaken my will.
Are you near? Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate.
Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? What do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar! Return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. It burns! Harvey? You speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold.
How do you know these things? This is the tale I tell myself each night in the cold and dark before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh.
I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Ja. 
Theater. Fight well with your offhand, as if born to it. Easier than expected. And how does the world look through a single eye? It keeps me alert, focused. You're strong as ever, Tyr. I'm glad for your swift recovery, buddy and Huga. What's done was bound to be. I bear no ill will to any here. Not you, not Fenrir, not even Loki. I'm not ready to forgive the trickster. Will you punish him? Not in this life. But he will not join us in immortality. The world we wake into will be free of his malice. If it must be so.
Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend, things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge, and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. Thank you, Valk.
Doctor. I have some new styles for you. May I see your stores? Nothing more? I'll see you later, friend. A good day to you! Eivor, out the gate? I want to see the Alliance map. mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili! A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It'll be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? Tell me about Jorvik. If that is true, both had state- That will make my- What say you then? Go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant.
fait. Eivor! To me, warrior, let gold and glory be our meat and mead. Like to reorganize. What are you doing? Found two you needed. What is it? If you, I must take. To the Swan Road. Need to row our way out. Sing us a song. If Is there a sea skull among you? Sail! Catch the wind! There was a woman called Nal. When I gave up my berserker ways, my fam... I had a sweetheart once. In the early days of the feud between ki... Who among you has heard the tale? Listen well, so I may tell you a tale. I had an odd friend when I was a boy. His name was Nori. And by the gods that boy could lie. Told us his father traded with the elves. Told us he had kissed sweet Hannah. Said he had seen a giant in the wood. Look! One of the rich temples! All right. Back to the story. Told us his father traded with the elves. Told us he had kissed sweet Anna. Said he had seen a giant in the woods. Well, one day we decided we would see about him. So we dared him to take us to the place he saw the giant. He twisted and turned, but at last he agreed. The thing is, I had been out there already. I had taken up a big rock and made footprints in the soft earth. Heels and toes. Giant's feet. When he saw those prints, he went white as a virgin's britches. Everyone made out they were scared. And then... Who's the... Hush now. Probably 
Well, you're at the good part, yes. Who's that walking through my wood? I howled from the trees, and I thrashed the branches all around. Nori screamed like a maiden and took to his heels. By the smell of it, he emptied his arse on the way. He told us afterwards he knew it was a trick. Bring, Bring the moss down! He never did go near. We'll pick up from there. Where were you? He told us after... Save it for later. Well, you're at the good part, yes. But he never did go near those woods again. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. Friends, I have often said no was a gift. Rolfer, you are destined for greatness, my father said. I did not really believe him, Sail out. not Sail until Odin showed himself to me. Yes, Odin. The night was heavy and the moon was full. I had a bladder full of mead, so I went outside to relieve myself. My piss puddled in the soil, as piss does. I'll use the same we'll Continue here. later. Huddled in the soil as piss does. In the moonlight, I saw my own reflection there. My own and another, standing at my shoulder, taller than any had a right to be, was a bearded man in a broad hat, a raven on each shoulder, his single eye fixed on me, bore into my skull. Can you believe it? This, the All Father him. Hush now. Monastery, here to be rich pickings. Lower the moss. All right, back to the story. His single eye fixed on me, bore into my skull. Can you believe it? This, the All Father himself. He nodded once, and I knew. I knew. Yes, I saw Odin in a puddle of piss. Yet how many of you have seen the Hank God, huh? That's right. Odin has shown me my path forward. One day, I will carve my name into history. In my youth, I remember hearing the story of Kulda. A fierce young... You lot have not fought a full campaign under Halfdan's banner, Except I would wager. A good nickname must carry a good story. My nickname is Bjorn Blood. And I too carry a story. To go with my name. <laughs> my nickname has nothing to do with battles. Nor my love of beef and meat. It is due Rage. years before I became a berserk. My greedy brother and I fished a mighty salmon on your Hold on, good scout. <laughs> Of the June. You Salskjals got a story. I was a sword Dane in Gautland, huh? boy in oh, yeah, Heed me, rowers, and I will tell you the tale of how I met my wife. Since many of you wonder at how we berserkers could ever Drop them off. I was young, and at a midsummer feast in Trondheim, when someone bumped me, knocking my sweet honeycomb into their mead, I was mad. But she just laughed at me. Mask. We spent the rest of the night together, sharing me and her, and other things. But in the morning, she sailed away with her fleet to Orkney. I wept and raged, 
because I knew I would not see her again. Then, the gods smiled on me, and I found a ship heading to Orkney. I needed a rower. I climbed aboard, and for weeks I rowed. We landed, and I made my way to her father's farm. But two... We'll pick up from there. Eivor, look! A military outpost! The good part, yes. We landed, and I made my way to her father's farm. But too late. She was wedding that same day. Save it for later. Look! Soldiers dug in over there! And I made my way to her father's farm. But too late. She was wedding that same day. The groom's hounds chased me away. Heartbroken, I returned to the ship and slept. Next morn, we lifted sail and I began to row. We'll continue later. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Back to the story. Heartbroken, I returned to the ship and slept. Next morn, we lifted sail and I began to row. It took an hour before I saw she was sitting behind me. I was overjoyed. Sometime in the night, she had left the wedding and snuck onto our ship. We rowed together for weeks, wet and happy. Those were happier days. Before Nyan and the Berserker, and my first battle. And of course, the dark deeds that later befell us. When I was eleven winters old, I was the young... When I was a girl, I took... I once sat down and spoke to... I came to England too late. That is the problem. The sons of Ragnar have shorn her of all possible glories. Everywhere I go, I... Men and women who were there before me. In my first weeks, I gathered many men and took them reaving. I lost my heart to an elderman's wife. <laughs> Kidnapped her away. But even that was not enough to raise the name of Rolo above the clamor. Other names but mine ring on the tongues of the skalds. Hafden, Uba, Guthrum, and Eivor the Wolf Kiss. Like the trees of a great forest, they shade those beneath. Nothing more can grow there. This land is full. Its glories are spent. I need to look to other shores, where I will here. write my saga into history. Let's hear a story. A good shack story should liven our... Did I tell you about the time I pretended to be a goat? Let the I am out. no stranger to the company of others' wives. But there was one beautiful wren married to an old blind Alwyn. <laughs> I could not resist her. So when he fell asleep, ale addled by the fire, she let me visit her most private chamber. She was a chirping song, but I was a braying buck, rousing the dead in my ecstasy. At the moment of glory, the old man burst in on us, waving his crop. He struck me on the arse, and I gave a yell. Who's there? He cried. But my girl was quick of wit and knew her husband well. She convinced old blind Alwyn it was not a man in a room, but his prize goat. 
escaped from its pen. He dragged me by the hair, down on all fours to the barn, where he bolted it fast. I spent the night lying in straw and shit. Still, the best night of my life. <laughs> Got the ship here! This must be Jorvik. The Order of Ancients lurk in its streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Juvena live here. Shor and Luvina settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. Shor and... Someone should know where to find them. Hey, friend. Could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Juvena. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me. Or any of the other merchants, for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm, bitter. Has Jor wronged him somehow?
should be cautious around here. Do you impose a tax? By order of the Council of your name, you can take up your death. Oh, I shall. And I think I speak for the rest of us when I say this isn't over. Now, we were at a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. You know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manner surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Amena, Hjor and Yufina have done well for themselves. <laughs> Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. <laughs> they can try.
Show me. How about a round of dice? Warlock, I could do with a round. Got your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Come, let's play. Let's begin. Very well then, let us start. Yeah. <sighs> 
Interesting. This will do. No, no, no! This game is as good as over. <sighs> Interesting. I have you cornered now. Few blows from death now, stranger. This will do. Game is as good as over. <sighs> Interesting.
another time, perhaps. Oh, Orlock. I know this game well. Got your attention, didn't... Let's begin. You... Easy on me, will you? Like this.
cornered now. A few blows from death now, stranger. This will do. This game is as good as over. I thought... Lord, we go again. <sighs> Interesting. This will do.
Easy on me, will you? Interesting. I have you cornered now. This will do. Interesting. This will do. Sweet victory. Ah, you got me. Shall we go again?
That is enough Orlock for now. I will not stand for it! Rob me of my coin! Rob me of my house! To hell with it! Rob me of my wife! But may God strike you where you stand if you rob me of my pie! What is this about God and pies? Someone stole my pie, and I, a skilled sniffer, am going to weed that pie thief out! All for a piece of pie. It is no ordinary pie! My pies top any other pies, and the blasted pie thief knows it! Oh, the smell! Oh, the smell! The thief went down this road! Come out, thief! I know you're here. I can smell my pie. The thief should not be far! Oh, I'll find that scoundrel! Mmm, the fragrance of melted butter. Comforting. Oh. Aha! The thief came by. I am on the trail. My pie is near. My nose does. I'm out, thief! The coy sweetness of berries. I smell it. Oh, ho, ho. the thief must be near now. I recognize my pies are lord to any nose. Come out, come out! Mmm, the aroma of a pastry baked just right. The thief is near! I think this is just the right amount. Now, give my delicious pie back. Delicious? Your pie was blander than my late father's face. What did you put in my pie? <gasps> the smell, this aroma. It's never produced such an effect before. I added some honey. It'll enhance the berries by a bit. Good God. It does enhance the sweet smell. This is remarkable. Unheard of. A miracle. Ah! It seems like this child could make an extraordinary baker. And Jorvik could use one less thief. <sighs> well, it does smell spectacular. You have a keen sense for the culinary arts, child. You want a job? God's piss of luck! Thank you so much, you won't regret it! I have so many ideas! <clears throat> Stop stealing the pies. Oh, thank you for your help. Come by my stall, should you have a craving for pie. Hey. 
Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked, and this body, it's not your Olufna. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Them? Breathe, Luvina. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. Cast your suspicion or be ready to kill me, because I will not raise my weapon against you. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. If they spot me. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Can't have gotten far. Look around. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Why the hood, stranger?
I do not see any others. Let's keep moving. This way. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a karma reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits. But someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips from the goddess of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Pure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. Yes, Jor! Jor! Look who has come! It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to her, Jor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. 
Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am far away then. War chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. Circle of Trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. My love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Jor has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. You've made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run this city now. But the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more... Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The dogmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the council. Jor would never wrong the people like that. Even if Rishie demanded it. The dogmaster is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I'll have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something.
Bitte ist da der Heiden und vor Heiden an Minister. The archives. This must be where Arthur shuffles the council papers. Thank you, Auden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Luvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Hmm. And destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abbess does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they'll continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else that much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the bishop there. A pile of official scrolls stamped with a seal. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. Greaves, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast.
I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities.
Tane. these toy goats, child? I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I made them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure about being the finest, but I do love them, every one. <laughs> if you have one in the likeness of Tankristnir, I will take it. What about my goat? Where are you going? to keep you warm. Sister. <sighs> this is your sister. We made the goats together, but the cold took her last winter. I promised her I would continue selling our goats. She said they can bring warmth into the hearts of others. Here, it's yours. I hope it will keep you warm on your travels. Goodbye, nice stranger. Spirit, your legacy lives on with your sister.
Someone, please, help me out from under this bridge. What happened to you, stranger? Burke, the man I work for, he did this to me, that evil man. I was simply doing a round of checks on our last shipment when he accused me of theft. Me! Theft! Please, bring me up to the bridge. I need some treatment, some medicine. That we school and let Dana be clipped. That Savian he to labor. Come on, the end they lead you to Christ. There you are, Chad. About time you showed your face. What is left of it? Fuck. No, no, no! Get away from me! Come along, Chad. We still have work to do. Work? You still want me to work? I can't even see my own hands, you heartless bastard! He says you blinded him. Aye, that I did. What is a leader to do when his man can't take their eyes off his treasure, even after several warnings? I... I was not looking! You stabbed my eyes out! Quiet now, Chad. Come, hand him over to me. Do your best to follow me, Chad. Just kill me instead! Austin! <laughs> Thank you, stranger. I thought my fate was sealed.
Joel! <laughs> Are you going to enter the water or not? No, the waters are too cold. Ah, oh, but the quicker I am baptized, the bigger business will be. Mm. One does not receive the Holy Spirit under the watchful eye of God simply to improve trade. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Do it. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Do it. One cannot become one of God's children without going through the proper ritual. No. I have avoided the water for weeks, and I do not intend to freeze this Yule. No wonder people avoid your market stall. You positively reek. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. You can swim. There you go. Cold! Cold! The ice waves are taking me! Uh, uh, save! Uh, oh. Hey, this is not so bad. Good God, at last. I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit within us all. You are now a child of God. So, is this it? It is. Go forth and walk his holy steps, new child. If his steps go to the market, then so be it. But first, I could go for a nice swim. Thank you for getting that man into the water. We had been waiting for too long, but we are patient. Anyone keen on the teachings of our Lord is welcome. Perhaps... No, I have done enough. This is available for purchase. 
Thank you for selling to me. A smart purchase. Fetch this if you want. You want this? I don't have an eye for these sorts of things. That all you need? I must take my leave. So long. The third crate of mine taken this week, and with no explanation! Rules are rules, but I wish they would tell us why. Here is the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishops. Where is everyone? Go, Sunan. Enough! Uh, leave me be, please! What has you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the Red Hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where is this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. Oh. Oh. Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. 
said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. Uh -huh. The bishop's courses. The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. like suit your shit. A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burnt, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. Find the Pagan! We will burn that sinner just like the others! Stay out of the way, heathen! We will complete our work. You cannot Over stop now. us. Go on! Who will control this eye? <laughs> Must be closing in. It's time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. Oh! Fjandin, ek vil eigi dey ein leitleidum.
do you see? Firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. have secured the minster. Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbess, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this?
because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this. I won't let you... There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, by a brand. The Abbess is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim.
What do you see, Sunan? Better stay away. <laughs> Cast about this land, my friend.
This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand, not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await.
I should return to Ljuvina. She'll want to know about Abbas Inkyborg's involvement. below with your body so wee do you think that you'll ever be up here like me will you fly against me and try testing your look i accept and like lightning will leave you dumbstruck not bad but what will you wager here's my bet now do your worst I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. Don't mistake position for size. Uh, you aren't very tall. You minuscule little imp! You're a terrible flighter! I am here in the clouds while you crawl on the ground, like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound. And my height goes to show how above you I stand. Then enjoy while you can, a great fall is at hand. Surprisingly competent. I have every advantage I see for an age. My words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. Well, for a mere speck of a flighter, you're surprisingly strong. You've earned your winnings. You're a mighty little midge. Better luck next time! Must be careful now. Ah,
I should not be seen in this area.
Damn you!
that. taken this week and with no explanation Jorvik's trade depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. <laughs> the sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace.
Gate market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know huh. for sure, but the need was fully. Where to? friend i have a hole of silver that will sink my ship can you help me spend it keep it down would you you'll get yourself killed flaunting like that especially around here what good is a market if i cannot sniff around its souls eager to spend my gains you want to let go of your silver try the narrow alleys now be gone We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. Hey, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm aching to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. Oh, thanks. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Hey! Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine's been bought up for the old type beast. Shame. I could do with a cup. But the last this feast is the talk of the town. I am eager for it. Good man, that Alden. Hmm. 
locked. Hiding among the rad's needle. Fitting. Attack on sight here. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? Melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. 
Yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. Wait a minute! Time to die! Don't fall for any traps! You're like that! Finish this in Coppergate Market. Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Virgins of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. There's not to draw attention here. Operation. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. <laughs>
It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you.
best at far here then. No! For the What news do you bring? I have knocked two names off the list. The Firebrand and the Needle. Well done. Who are they? It's Abyss. She sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. And the Needle was Jorvik's dockmaster. He was gathering silver and minting it for the vault. Gods, does the Order's reach know no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. I heard what happened at the Minster and the Markets. The Dockmaster, the Abbess, both killed. Was that you? They were two of the names in the letter. Only one remains, the Vault. This is getting out of hand. I hope you have the final name. I'm working on that. I found this on the Needle. The Council Seal? And the Abbess uttered something that perked my ear as well. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rysje, Faravid, Odin, and... Jor. The four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough.
Wäsche trägt. Das wollen wir hier. The room to the left. That is where the councilmen confer. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Haftan's army. Could be why Feravid is pressing the council for more silver. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuleside feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuleside feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. A wax seal, similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk, it looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He. Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Jor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I'll speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even your. If he is the vault, I'll not allow him to kill all these people. Juvena. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now, to speak to the council members, I'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. <laughs> A word, if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I am selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ah, 
If that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Aldon, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I'll fetch you some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. If the team is come so not to air winter. Sure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it's important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bo. Of course. Yeah. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. You uncovered who the vault is. Uh, Not yet. We need to find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Inkiborg collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. 
men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so the wine. indebted. The wine. Aldun is the vault. To light for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. I will handle Alden. Go. Save these breaths. They will be your last. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants and priests and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. 
and as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Pure Lufin, where did they go? I need your eyes, my friend. Davor, over here. Are you all right? We're fine. Faravid and his cars escorted King Rishie back to the royal hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there.
Alden, that snivelling little shit. <laughs> Conspiring right under our noses. I'll kill him! I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishie. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Aldun aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Evo? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple. They would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today. And so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Vjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury, but I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harald all along. He still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Jor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, 
or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Seems the wind calls me back to Ramdi. Best tell her the good news.
What's the matter here? Can't raise a sail yet. Let's have a song. You Salskjals got a story. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunk ass old. Who among you has heard the. You want a story? More sail! Some years ago, I took to sea. My first day defending the wall. I came to England too late. That is the problem. In my youth, I remember hearing the story of Calder. A fair... A good shag story should lie with... During my 19th winter... When I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, I believed it would be a brief raid. A swift... In the early days of the feud... Be... My favorite part of any battle is the moment before it. I knew a crazed man about my... I was in Hedeby when I saw the truest sea. There was a woman called Nal who came by. Did I tell you about the time I pretended to be a goat? Take the mask down. When I was 11 winters old, I was the. I have seen the shores of Frankia now. Only a glimpse, but a glimpse was enough. I will paint it in your minds, my friends. How the wind stirs the trees, the birds cut the sky, and the lands are emerald green. The swell of those rolling hills. The way the sunlight dapples the forest floor. The maidens toiling in the fields. The sweat on their breasts glistening. Oh, yes. How their firm buttocks tighten as they bend to pick sweet flowers. And the way they speak. Even an insult sounds like an invite. 
What else might they do with such elegant tongues? Oh, don't say you weren't thinking the same. One day, I will make that land my home. And don't continue later. Meet your fate. Back to the story. Oh, don't say you weren't thinking the same. One day, I will make that land my home. And those maidens will be mine. Monastery, bound to be rich picking. We feed the raven the snake. Make them bleed and take their horse. Almost there.
Give me a hand over here.
for taking! Hast du das Edward ist ein Gladrap? Alduin! My love beams bright, my heart! Go away, Bertha! Alduin, my sweet, I'm here! I'm here! I even wrote you a poem, the kind you adore. Will you not listen? Your starry eyes are like plates, with stars upon them instead of food. Bertha, please! You simply do not understand me! Just leave me be! Are you here to steal Aldwin from me? Ah, oh, but of course. His handsome face is a sight to behold. Troubles of the heart. I'm merely a worm next to a flower such as he. My words have not captured his fancy. He is... immovable. You chose the wrong words. Listen to you. If you're such a poet, help me open the door to his heart. Give me a moment. I'll come up with something. Alduin, my sweet, I'm here! I'm here! I even wrote you a poem, the kind you adore. Will you not listen? Your starry eyes are like plates, with stars upon them instead of food. Bertha, please! You simply do not understand me! Just leave me be! I think I know what to say. Let's hear it, then. You say he's a brewer. Praise his skills at the craft. Aren't you a wise devil? Why didn't I think of that? 
Here comes a tale about legendary ale. So famous and delicious, it's the greatest in sales. It's drunk by kings and lords, devils and sinners. So good is its taste, it makes Aldween the winner. Those words about my ale were sung by a honey-voiced angel. Tell me, which of you sang such sweet words to me? Those were my words. I told her what to say. She merely sang them. Oh my. What a disappointment. I thought they were your words, Bertha. I wish to repay you, beautiful stranger. Let's warm up at my hearth. Or better yet, let's do more than that. That sounds good. Let's go inside. <laughs> you wield more than honeyed words, don't you? Take as a gift anything you like from my house, but please, leave my heart. You will never find another one like me, old wee. I'll have the whole lot of you under the table. He send on some gold spell in Papa.
If they see me, this will get messy. to break open my door! This is your house. I set my key down, only to watch it fall into the river. My name's Bron. Hi, Bron. Ah, a Dane. I have an object inside that you'd be interested in. The legendary horn of Ragnar Lothbrok. You have Ragnar's horn. How can you know it was his? You have me there, friend. I cannot be certain. It's a very old. Dane Horn, help me into my house. You can judge for yourself. I'm curious to see this horn. I hid it somewhere long ago. Forgive me, I can't recall just where. Help me search. Behind there. Well done, friend. Ah, look at that. That's no horn. Hmm. Let me have a look. Hold. Oh. Faith! You filthy Dane, get out of my house! This man told me this house was his. Have you any idea how important I am? I shall have you both flayed and hung from the city gates. Friend, it's all a simple misunderstanding. If you were deceived, Dane, you'll return my biblo and help me kill this villain. Here is your item. Bronn here is a liar and a thief. He deserves what he gets. No! Mongrel! <laughs> so much for him. You've helped me, Dane. I will not send you before the Magistrate for robbery. I trust you are grateful. <laughs> I regret only that I did not hear the battle song of Ragnar's horn.
Keep our eyes open. White. Keep our eyes open.
Look sharp.
cacete. Can you keep up crawling? I used to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket and join Jarnunos in a bed of leaves. Took me in, stranger, with a song. The sound of Odin stumping on your bones is the only song you'll hear.
An evil man brings you biscuits. Do you gift them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. Sante Cooper. Nice, my own nice, good sexual. Sweet childish. Thing must be crested. She's sweet, but for what? Is with only Che on Silches. On basing them on gun, up on go one to be from after Adam the Fear for Rest from rattling skulls, rattle these bones. Ah, Orlak. Got your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Come, let's play. Let's do this then. Excellent. Let us not tarry. Ich 
Gefahren und Frank. This will do. Interesting.
No, no, no! <sighs> Interesting. This will do. Interesting. like this. You got me. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps.
Facet Dominus Nostra Sapiens Lupus, DJ Collector Supra in Fewer Fewer seem that will meet on it. I should speak with Hytham. May I see your stores? I can get you that one easy. I'm sad to send this one away, but it will make me proud. Is that what you want? This will serve you well.
You like the looks of that one? Ah, let me look at you. Wonderful. You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. I would like to see what you have in stock. Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor. This looks practically in bait for you. Go on, give it a try. You've made the right choice with this one. Done shopping for the day? I'm off. Be well, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. I would like to see what you have in... 
You know you have use for this. Use it wisely. You should get that. Honestly. Is that everything? What have you got for me today? This looks practically in bait for you. You won't regret this purchase. Shopping for the... I'll see you later. Don't be a stranger! Feeling a little trouble. May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong. You like the looks of that one?
I can get you that one easy. Worthy of the gods. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. This will serve you well, Abel. Is that what you want? There, Eva. Now you can take on anything. That one's pretty good. Thank you for trusting me. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. There, better than before. You like the looks of that one? Is that what you want? I do good work, I must say. I have to go. See you soon. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Eivor. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Juvina and Jord's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Good boy.
I should talk to hide them about my next targets. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi. Get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. <laughs>